Okay, so I decided to try out Gunlance in both Rise and World, and I'm not sure which version I like more. This is something that I will always repeat, but I think the weapons in Rise are superior to the weapons in World, and are extremely fun to use. I personally don't find the weapons in Rise as satisfying as Worlds, because I think it feels better to hit monsters in World than in Rise, but anyway, returning to the Gunlance. I'll talk about my experience in Rise first, but I want to get this out of the way. I don't know anything about Gunlance, really. The build I used, I cobbled together and pretty much just put in all the skills that mentioned Gunlance and called it a day. So the build I used in both games isn't really optimized. Also, I don't even know which gun lances are worth using. I just picked one I thought was good. I've seen Ruricon gun lance main using the corn popper gun lance before, so I went with that. And finally, with regards to the switch skills, I set up both scrolls to be completely different from one another, so I could have uh, everything available. Now that that's out of the way, how did I feel? One, the maneuverability surprised me. I did have a Vade Extender um, on both builds, and let, that lets you move around pretty quickly, and with Rise you have the Blast Dash, which is an insanely fun movement skill, and I used it a lot to close into Gormagala. There's also the Wirebug skill that moves you in reverse, which I forget the name of, and that's also really fun. But I think the hardest thing about using Gun Lance is the worm stake. One of the things that bothers me is that if you do an overhead slam into the full burst and try to reload, you'll end up doing um, the worm stake animation instead. That I find kind of frustrating, but you can do a sweep after the full burst and then reload, so at least there's kind of a way around it, but I would like to be able to reload and then do another overhead slam. And I didn't really use the wirebug skills that much, I used the one that guards and restores sharpness and bullet barrage, and I used um, ground splitter, I think it's called, a couple of times as well. My hunt and rise with um, level 120 afflicted Gormagala took 17 minutes, and I did faint twice, but you know, it was a mostly enjoyable 17 minutes. Moving on to world, I fought Ruiner near Gigante, which took me 8 minutes. One of the things that kind of surprised me is that, from what I could tell, it wasn't any different. The combo I used in Rise still worked, and in World, you can power up the Worm Stick by putting Slinger ammo into the Gun Lance, and I really like the animation for that, it's just kind of inconvenient to use. But really, Gun Lance didn't feel all that different, which is surprising because I think they could have added something really cool in Rise. I mean, this is something I just thought of, but Having a switch skill that changes the thrusts you do into different swings that use your shells to propel your hits into the monster would have been cool, but in general, I think the Gun Lance is a pretty fun weapon, and it really surprised me because I thought it would be a really slow and sluggish weapon. And I mean, that's a little true. Some of the attacks are pretty slow. The lunging attack, the sweep, and the overhead slam are pretty slow. But, in general, you can hop around pretty quickly. I'm surprised there wasn't too much change to the core combos of the weapon, but I think Blast Dash is pretty significant of a change, so, you know, maybe that's good enough, but... Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. If you haven't uh, tried Gun Lance, give it a try. Either game, doesn't really matter. I think they're both, uh, both versions are fine, because they're basically the same, you know. But, anyway, that's all.